Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to class Tech Stars. All right, so now we want to go into the foundation of every website. The basic structure of a web page and the most important beginner tags in HTML. All right, so I have deleted what I wrote here before so that we will start from scratch and I will show you how to write everything from the beginning. All right, let's get into it. Structure of a web page. Every web page starts with a basic structure. And here is what it looks like. Let me quickly generate it for you. Then I will delete and start writing it for you from the beginning. So here is what the, all these things you are seeing here, they are very compulsory. They must be present on every HTML uh, file. All right. So now. Let's go into it one after the other and let me explain what each and every one of them stand for. Let's start with the doc type HTML. So this doc type, it tells the browser, it tells the browser we are writing in HTML5. And HTML5 is the latest version of HTML. So you must include it for you to be able to make use of some tags, and there are some elements that were just included in the latest HTML. Those ones are not included in the previous version. Are you getting it now? Then after this, we have the HTML tag. You see this HTML tag, this line here talks about language and it says English, all right? So don't be confused about that. HTML is the root of every web page you see. Everything goes inside it. Everything goes inside it, all right? So now let me delete what we have here and show you how the arrangement should look like. So for if you want to start any website, so this is the first thing you have to include there. You write your angular bracket, exclamation mark, then doc type HTML, doc type in capital letters and HTML. So this tells the browser, or this tells the tool you are using, okay, you are working with HTML5, which is the latest version of HTML. All right, having written this, then the next thing you have to write is your HTML tag itself. So when you have this HTML tag, this is what we call open tag, and this is what we call closing tag opening tag and closing tag. So every other thing you want to write on this web page must fall inside these two tags. So press enter. Then what is the next thing we have to put? The next thing is our head tag. So head tag. Head tag contains behind the scenes information like the title of your web page it is not actually going to show on the main web page all right so because we are still going to put another tag inside this one then we we'll put enter too for us to include the next one we want to write and that is title so you can give it any title you like you can give it any title you like. So let's say I want to give it the title, my first web page. So here now, before we move further, let me show you what this looks like on our browser. Remember I told you if you want to view your browser, you right click on your HTML file and say open with live server. Don't forget that. So it has opened here. Let me place the two beside each other. All right. So now we have our code here and our browser here. I want to believe you can still see very well because I've actually zoomed in the font, uh, our my screen, so that it will be very visible. So now we have this, and you can see that this is what we have on our browser, except that this, and that is the title. So after head, after this head, the next tag we need to use is the body. And it is 
whatever you put inside that body that will determine what to show on your browser. So let's go to body. And then you can click enter as well. So this body is where the visible content lives. What your users will see ideally. So what are those things you can put inside body then? It will take us to the next line of action, which is all those necessary tags we want to learn. If you are enjoying this video and you want to see more of what we can do with these web pages, please hit the like button and share this video. Share this video. If you are a parent and you enjoy what your child is building, please like this video, share this video with other parents who want their kids to learn tech too. Invite them to our community. Let them come and learn if they actually need the support. All right, thank you very much. Let's go on. Now, let's explore some basic HTML tags you will use often. And the very first one we'll be talking about here is the headings. Is the headings. So to write headings, we use the tag H1 to 6. Making H1 the biggest heading and the H6 the smallest heading. So meaning that the higher the number, the smaller the font size. So let's put it into practice and see. So whatever you put here is likely, uh, is going to show on the browser for sure. So let's just say this is the biggest heading. And immediately you can see that it is showing. So this is the biggest heading. So this is like the titles or something. Why others can be like subtitle of whatever you want to write on your web page. So let's try to repeat this in six times by pressing your shift alt then arrow down button. Six, all right. Having done this, so I can just change what I have here. This one, I will change this one to two. Control D, we change them together like that. Uh -huh. So the next one, So let's go to this. Control D will pick the next number. Let I just picked one here. I highlighted on one. And when you press Control D, it will pick the next one. If you keep pressing Control D, it will keep picking all the next ones. But since this are just the two I want to change, so I don't need to keep. So I'm trying to teach you all those um shortcuts now that you can use on your laptop then that is going to be 3 so that we have been able to change those last one together then let's change the next one to 4 then the next one to 5 control d and change it to 5 and then control d also and change it to 6 so can you see that on our browser so this one, which is with the H1 tag, has the biggest size. Why the one with the H6 has the smaller, smallest size, rather? Okay. So the next thing we can learn now is paragraph. So we use P to denote paragraph. So let me start with this too, and then. So whatever you put inside this now, it's going to come in form of a normal paragraph, not a heading or title or subtitle or anything. So this is a paragraph of text. Right? So this is a paragraph or text. So this is it here. You will see that it is not burden as all these headings. So that is just the difference. All right. Having this, then we can learn something again that is called, uh, that we can use to break our lines. Let's say we have 
I want to use just one paragraph like this. I'm coming. And I want to include a lot of paragraphs inside this one paragraph. Like I want them to come from on different lines. So let me just say um this is a paragraph. Then I continue. I still say this is a paragraph two. Okay, so when I have this and I want them, can you see them on the browser? They are beside each other. Even if I break it down like this, even if I bring it to the next line on my code editor, it is still going to be on the same line on the browser until I had this. Until I had this line break tag. And that is just this. That one will not generate any closing tag because it is not, uh, it is just an open tag like this. So now you'll be surprised that even if I bring this back to that line, it's still going to be on different lines here in the browser because this is what will break it down, not just you bringing it down on the uh, code editor. I want to believe you are still getting it. In case you have question or anything, kindly let me know in the comment section. So another thing we can learn also is, so one thing you need to take note of is, all these things we are writing, they are still inside the body tag. Like body start here and it is here. So everything we are still writing are inside the, Everything is still inside the body tag. And body is still inside the HTML tag. Please don't get it wrong. Please don't get it wrong. So the next thing is, let's say we want to make our text to be bold. So to make our text to be bold, so we use the word strong. We use the tag strong. And everything we write inside this now would be both so you can just say this is a bold text all right so this is a bold text and you can see it from the browser that it is actually bold all right another thing is ita uh, italic text so for italic text we use emphasis emphasis the emphasis tag which is just em use em to denote that and whatever we write inside that one now will be italic so we can just say this text is uh italic all right can you see it here all right so now because uh we call some tags block and we call some tags some element are block element some are inline element and all of that so for this one despite that they are inside different tags this one is inside the emphasis and this one is inside the strong you can see that they are being placed uh side by side on our browser so this is where your break is very very necessary so this is where you can use your break all right so and that brings it down so these tags they help you to organize and emphasize your context you know when you are typing using your normal document you know where you want uh, the, okay, some statements need to be italicized, some statements need to be burdened and all of that. So on your web page or your web app too, there are some cases whereby you want search to happen. So that is the essence of all these tags that we are learning. 
All right, so in order not to let this video to be too long, we are going to meet in the next class to learn another basic tag, like list, like images, and all of that. So build a simple web page using all these elements and show me in class or in the group. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video if you find it helpful. Bye.